Hello everyone, we're here to do some free reading, so I hope you're having a wonderful night. Some people have Thanksgiving tomorrow, so something told me to come on this evening and see how people are doing. Let's get a little filter going. There, that one's gorgeous. Alright guys, welcome in. So we're doing free reading, so if you're interested in one, just let me no, you can ask a question. I am not pulling up cards. I'm just using uh, my intuition to guide me through the reading. Um, and again, if you want a yes or no question, that's great. If you have a specific question, it's all good. If you're a subscriber, you always get priority. And um, I'm all yours. If you have any questions about how I do my readings, what type of readings, I'd love to help you out. Hello. Welcome in, guys. So we're just doing free readings, so let me know if you would like one. My readings are past, present, and future, so you can ask, like, where am I energy-wise right now? I uh, read not just energy, but um, I tune into to spirit guides. I tune into loved ones that have crossed over. Um... Often I'll do card readings, but I'm, I'm feeling called to doing some channeling through writing. So welcome in, guys. So if you want a reading, let me know. Otherwise, we can do some collective energy. I was told that there are some people that need some readings tonight, so that's why I came on. I was busy doing some other things, but I listen to whatever I feel like I'm meant to do. So, hello, Emma. So, Emma, what would you like to focus on tonight? Welcome in. Would there be an area of focus? And my invitation to you would be think about if you're working on future, because I feel like you are. What what are you looking to tap into future wise? I feel like is it more creativity? Okay, relationship. All right, well let's just tune in and see what comes through here for you, okay? Hi Bren, we're gonna put you on the list as well. All right, so Okay, so I'm definitely getting some negativity around this situation, okay? So if I were taking notes, this is kind of what I what I would be focusing on is the what is the major energy here, right? So we've got future relationship, there's negativity, okay? And so the goal here is how do we how do we yes, from our friends, okay? So I'm I'm thinking, okay, how do we tap into future and focus on positivity. That's kind of what's coming through here, right? Right away, the first thing um, that I'm getting is fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. They don't want us to be together. Well, that's unfortunate that you don't have support, okay? It's funny because the word support was really standing out strong to me tonight, and often I'm tuning into people before I even know I'm coming on here. And thank you, and thank you, thank you, first of all, for being here, but happy Thanksgiving for the people um, that are celebrating. All right, guys, because I'm in Canada, so we already did our Thanksgiving thing, but it's awesome that you guys have that, so hopefully everybody gets a little vacation time, gets some time with their families. That's actually one of the reasons why I hopped on here. I was getting some Reiki healing from someone online, and I thought, you know what? I should really be online and checking in with my peeps and seeing how they're doing. So, first of all, health also comes up. You need a healthy support system, okay? So, right now, who is your support system? Emma, who is your support system? Because it sounds like if there's negativity from friends, who do you have support from? That's important to for you to identify with. So, I'm not just doing... You're reading. We're offering healing. Happy Thanksgiving from the Caribbean Islands. Amazing. Love that. I don't really have anyone. Well, that's unfortunate. So do you have, like, you're a subscriber here. Would you consider me a support system? And guys, for anyone that's interested, I'm doing a little special right now. So for $35 Canadian, um, I'm doing 15 minutes over Zoom. Uh, of course, sometimes we go over. So just be mindful of that but it's just a way that it's inexpensive for you guys to get like some quick clearings quick healings quick insight 
And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make it myself accessible to you guys one on one because it's so nice to meet my subscribers or meet people here face to face. Like everybody's different ethnicities and different cultures and backgrounds on TikTok, and it's really, really cool. I, I'm like, oh, I didn't expect you to look like this. It's just so awesome. So yeah, who are you? Who? So you're saying you don't you don't have a support system, but like again, do you feel like this is a support system for you? I'm just trying to see where your mindset is here. And Bren, if you're here, feel free to send me a heart. Any subscribers that are here, just let me know that you're here, okay? Because obviously we want to make sure everybody. Hello, Chloe. Welcome in. So we are doing free readings here, guys, as well. Yes, yes, it's a support system, but it kind of. Hello, Bren. Okay, awesome. Um, so it kind of sounds like you might. Uh, so, so Bren, we're gonna go to you next, just so you know. Um, but yeah, it sounds like you're even. I don't know how I can read the energy of words and text, but I guess I can. It doesn't matter if it's your voice or not. I'm not sure why that still surprises me because um, I've always been able to like read through pictures or through writing, but it's like I can hear your voice saying like, yes, but it's still not enough. It's like there's disappointment there. Okay. So one of the things that comes through here is how do we, how do we get you to recognize yourself in a positive light and your situation in a positive light? So what, what comes through here is like your mindset is everything. So the way to attract new support systems in is by being grateful for the support systems that you already have. And then that's going to help you be grateful and not be in a lack mindset. So, you know, when it's like, I wish these people were this way, I'm disappointed. It's like, yes, but do you have a mother? Do you have a father? Do you have a sister? Do you have a brother? Do you have a partner that you're with? Do you have animals? You know, do you have a doctor? Do you have a massage therapist? Do, do you go for acupuncture? You know, do you go for readings other places? Do you get free readings on, on TikTok and other places? So it's like investing more energy in what you already have will just raise your vibration and I know that sounds so simple but I really feel like because you're working on support you have to see that the universe has your back I have your back there are people that do love you that do care about you and I know you know this already but sometimes we can just get really down on one situation and so one thing is if your friends aren't supporting you I don't know if they're really your friend just something to look at, okay? So aside from inviting a support system in, maybe it's also being really um, cut and dry with the people that you're quote-unquote dealing with and just you can express to them how you feel and if you feel like it's that bad that you can't express how you feel with these people, then my suggestion would be just spend less time with those people and eventually they're going to gently move out of your circle naturally and it's not really an effort you have to make. So my suggestion would be stop giving people time and energy that don't deserve it. Makes sense? Which is interesting because I'm spending more time and energy on you than I typically would because I feel like you need that because when people aren't doing that for us, we need that. Makes sense? I was literally being told while I'm like putting my laundry away and doing all this stuff, there are people on your TikTok that need a reading, like need it, not just want it. So maybe, you know, where I hop on and you're kind of feeling this lack of support and lack of connection and that can happen. But you know what? Online can be a really great support system. And sometimes it might feel like we're living in a fake world or in a false world. And I get why that might create fear for you feeling like deep down you don't have what it is that you want, but we do have to focus on the good as much as we can and as we grow that mindset it'll come in okay but again my readings are only uh, $35 Canadian for 15 minutes and um, today we did 25 minutes by accident and there was still more that I could do but I said you know what just read book in book in a few 15 minutes until the 30th this expires so I mean just I'm just throwing it out there and also I'm doing three question readings and I write an email back to you for only $10 Canadian if you feel like you don't want to you're not in you're, you're not in a position or you don't want to do that you can just say like I'm looking to move gently through these relationship patterns that I have can you help me heal whatever it is from the past that keeps me from creating these types of people into my intimate circles or whatever it is how should I be communicating with these people 
I will li literally just write back to you what spirit wants you to know, okay? Yeah, I haven't been talking to them lately. Okay, well, that's good. So stick with, stick with that. So raise your vibration by being grateful. Raise your vibration by creating those boundaries and those healthy steps for yourself, okay? Sounds so, so, so simple, but sometimes, you know what, simple is the best, right? Simplify. Sometimes our lives get too complicated and then we've got to bring it into like really, really, really easy things to do, like isolate a bit or communicate less, right? You get what I'm saying? Show them who's boss lady. Yeah. Hello, guys. Welcome in. So we are doing free readings. We just focus on our subscribers first. And we usually give them a little bit more time and energy, of course, because they are my lovely, lovely people that are super supportive. And I am very grateful for you guys. Okay. So, Bren, 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 are you in here? I see you just joined back in. So that's perfect timing. So is there an area of focus? Would you like to go into general energy? I'm getting for you because we're doing past, present, and future this evening. I'm. You're welcome. I'm getting... Um, for you, there's like some past stuff coming up, okay? And then I'm also getting there's some future life stuff coming up for you as well, okay? Hello, guys. Thanks so much for the gift. I'm here. Okay, so just uh, as we connect to your energy, I'm getting past and some future life, but what I am a sensitive. All right. Awesome. Well, welcome in, guys. Share some space. Let me know if this connects to you. You can send a purple heart if it does. Thank you for everyone tapping the screen and liking this. The more, of course, support I get that way, the longer I can stay on here and, and support you guys because it's helpful for me moving forward as well as an energy exchange. So thank you for being here. So do you have an area of focus? And if not, that's okay. Hi, Ganeet. So our master class was canceled the other night. So hopefully you got a chance to watch the first master class. That's for my Foundations for Healing program coming up on January 4th. So anyone else that's interested in readings and theta healing, um, that's going to be a program that we meet every four weeks over Zoom. And we do um, a lot of awesome things in there. Okay, so the free master class is under YouTube Live. You can catch that through my link tree. Okay, I'm glad that it was helpful. So feel free when you guys subscribe to also comment that you watch the video. Well, thank you very much, Appleton. I like your name. I like Appleton Run. <laughs> All right, so Bren, what is your... You didn't write back to me. You said, I'm here, and I was talking about past and future, just checking in with general energy. Where you're at. Love. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. And thanks everybody for your patience while you guys listen in to everybody's readings. I really do believe you can get a reading from every message here because we're all sharing space, okay? So if you're a subscriber, you get a reading and healing every single time. And also, I'll put my uh, schedule underneath my profile. I'm guaranteed to come. Hi, Tarot Flips. Welcome in. I'm guaranteed to come in at that time. But if I randomly come in like I am tonight, then these are just like extra things I'm offering. Okay, cool beans. So one thing that comes up here with love, I want to start with past. When we tune into your past, I'm hearing hydroglyphics. Okay. And I kind of feel like this is related to the people that you were spending your time with. This almost feels like a younger energy or or, or when you were younger, either a, a person who gives off a younger energy or, again, when you were younger. And it's kind of like almost when you're hanging out with people that aren't really a great match for your vibration where you are working on love. So that tells me like you've grown... I love that my aura is light blue. I've been channeling blue lately, so very much throat chakra and some peace. Love that. Finding peace in the, in the throat. Um, so yes, with love, it feels like um, I'm also bouncing over to travel as well. So it feels like you've gone through some challenging times just with like who you've attracted into your life and just changing a lot. So I feel like travel for you is really good. So when it comes to love life... Um, if you're exploring love more, definitely travel will be uh, more likely to, to bring love love in. Okay, great. I'm glad this connects. And for you, 
oddly enough with colors, I'm seeing yellow and purple. And a little bit of green. So purple is your crown chakra, so that means spiritually you're very aligned to um, exploring life right now. Like I was saying, like going sailing or going near water and just stuff like that. I think that'd be really helpful for you. Hello, Nova Scotia something or other. I'm from Nova Scotia. Um, and then also the yellow energy is about you exploring, I don't know, like more sunlight even. That's kind of what I'm getting. Just like, I don't know, you just deserve to not be in darkness right now, I kind of feel like. So it's like you you need to be around happy people and that sort of thing and just more celebratory because I feel like you can get really down as we were already sharing with like past people. It's You need to be, again, a good vibrational match for those around you. And then I also get um, green because again, green is green is the heart. So it, you need refreshing energy and specifically I'm getting mint, like a light green mint. Um, and I think that it's more like you, it does feel like you need a lot of um, grounding as well. Cause I think sometimes you want things instantly and, and I'm just getting to ground into that energy a bit more. Cause I think it's more with love and pleasure. It feels like it's going to take some time for you to maybe get exactly what you want pleasure wise with love, but it's okay. It's just like making sure that you're happy that you're staying stimulated. And so not letting kind of like other people get in the way of what it is that you desire. Um, and I think that you're letting go of a lot of old energy right now. So maybe just hold some space for yourself while you're going through these transitions and change, okay? I hate the winter. It makes me sad. Yeah, I definitely get that for you. I think you still obviously have to experience some winter, but that's where it's like keep the pleasure vibes going and don't let other people who are kind of negative get all up in your energy field because I think that that's just going to drag you down where you might be more susceptible for um, to feeling down and you're already sensitive to other people's energies. Okay. So that's just a recommendation, but the sunlight and that travel is super, super important. Okay. But there's a lot of refreshing energy coming, coming your way, but it's your job to kind of like do what, it, whatever it is that I'm suggesting there. Okay. So maybe some guided meditations as well that are helpful for you to keep that upbeat personality that you already have. Okay. Two spirit guides. Oh, yes. A male and a female. Okay, so let me know, Bren, is that helpful for you? I'm so excited. I'm, I'm supposed to be planning a trip. I have just haven't gotten really on the computer and, and made my phone calls yet. But uh, we're supposed to be going away in April. I like to go away every April, and I would like to go away more than once a year, but even just once a year is fabulous. So for anybody that's not planning a trip, maybe put that on your vision board or your manifestation list with the next moon. If you're underneath my membership group, it's $11.11 every month to come in there. That's through horsemanreadings.com. We do weekly energy. We do new moon readings, rituals. Um, theta healing, guided meditations, there's some workshops and programs in there, etc. And that could be really helpful. Martha, I like that. So my connection to Martha is my aunt. Actually, she's a really close person to me. She's been on my mind lately. And she just always says, oh, Martha, all the time. Martha, Martha, Martha. Okay, so thank you so much for being here and you're welcome so any other subscribers here while we're on otherwise we're going to shift over shift some gears to anyone asking questions sai when will i get pregnant so we don't answer those questions but again i'm doing a little 15 minute uh reading sale so you're welcome to take charge of that or you can ask a question in, in my three question reading as well underneath my um purchase readings and products through horsemanreadings.com okay you'll see it all underneath my profile and uh, we were we we're kind of talking about letting go of the old as well so underneath my youtube channel i have lots of playlists to help people with different rituals and, and healing tools hello welcome in i'm in new brunswick and i'm from nova scotia if you have a question let me know Specifically, we stay away from pregnancy and health here. Lisa. So please tap the screen and like this as well as an energy exchange. It's really helpful for me, especially if you're 
you're on here watching, it's very easy to tap and I really appreciate it. Okay, guys? So, Lisa, please tap the screen while you're getting your reading. It's really helpful. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny because I've been really connecting to, to my hair lately. And actually a lot before here, I was feeling something really weird with my hair. Okay, so will I get divorced, Lisa? Okay, so no, you're not getting divorced, Lisa, but you need to connect more with manifesting so i just got she needs to connect with manifesting connection again so obviously you have lost connection with your partner right makes sense let me know if this is connecting lisa please so the word connect is in here twice. Okay, you've got connect and connection. So that's something when, when I say manifest, this is actually just bringing this into your reality. So obviously you've got to put in the work. You have to create this. But we also need to, again, ask for that. So maybe if this person is angry or upset with you, it's also important to ask them if they can forgive you as well. And even if you're angry towards them, sometimes... It's important to ask them, hey, would you mind offering, um, I'm writing that down, thank you, Joyce and Martha. <laughs> um, I'm getting thrown off here. But yeah, it's also important to ask for forgiveness from somebody else. Again, even if we're angry at that person, you know, it's just, it can just be helpful. Okay, does that relate to you? Is there a lot of anger there, Lisa? Please let me know if you don't mind. It's helpful. So we can move on. Regardless, I know that there's a little little anger. But it's important to acknowledge that we probably pissed somebody off too. <laughs> Lisa, would you mind letting me know? Maybe yes, but the anger isn't within the relationship. Okay, where is the anger towards? I just want to make sure when we get readings that is, it's helpful, guys. Otherwise, what's the point of me just telling you stuff, right? I want to make sure this is connecting. I want to make sure I'm help, helping. Because that's what I was told to come on here tonight to do. My husband has anger from his childhood. Okay. But he could still be, um, even if you don't feel like he has anger towards you, awesome. Uh, so welcoming, guys. Thank you so much. Feel free to share where you're from as well. I have lots of family in Cape Breton, um, which, which is interesting. My aunt's from Cape Breton when you were picking up on Martha. So, yeah, so I get, I still get, like, he, if he has anger about this, then he has anger about that, and he has anger about that. And if you're in a relationship with somebody, uh, chances are they're probably going to transmit that over your way. And so again, I just feel like ask this person for, if you're worried about getting divorced, there's probably anger in there towards you. Um, so I would say ask for forgiveness from this person. That's what I'm getting. And just be really gentle about it. So it's kind of like a way to switch it back over to putting them in the driver's seat instead of being like, you need to do this or you need to do that. It's like, can you please offer forgiveness towards me for things that you're hanging on towards me, like resentment or frustration or whatever it is. And just, again, put them in the driver's seat with that, okay? Does that make sense, Lisa? Is that helpful for you at all? You feel his disc he's has disconnected. Yeah, he has definitely pulled away. Um, because he probably you know, I get there's some betrayal there. Sometimes betrayal isn't necessarily related to cheating. Um but it's related to I thought 
you were going to be loyal to me in the sense of like always be here for me, always like protect me and things like that. So I do feel like there is some negative energy towards you, um, whether you feel like you've done anything or not. So again, it's important to reconnect that cord back in by saying like, can you help me understand? Like first you have to forgive me and then you have to also be willing to help me understand how I can help you or how we can connect more. So obviously first step is he needs to be willing to do that and then he also needs to be able to communicate with you as well. Two step. Okay. Okay, somebody was commenting to protect. It says some comments were here to uh, filter to protect me. That makes me feel good. You're welcome. Okay, Lisa. So again, guys, I'm doing readings for 15 minutes over Zoom for 35 Canadians, so feel free to book in with me. You can do that through horsemanreadings.com. If you're a subscriber, you guys can book in with me through inbox. Otherwise, please go to my website. There are a lot of scammers out there, so I only, outside of being a subscriber, I only book through my website, okay? But it is still um, it is still important that I feel you go in that direction, okay? So please don't give anybody else money saying that they're me. Dawn, is the job offer I received this week worth pursuing? Yes. So that's good news. You don't need help. <laughs> Anybody else have a question there? I, it's hard for me to read while I'm reading, doing a reading. I may, um, okay, does Mike care about me? Lucy. Yeah, uh, he cares a lot about you. So that's good to know if that's something you want. You're welcome. Anybody else? What's going to happen with Brett and I? Bailey. I don't know. I feel like I wrote down he's going to loosen you up. <laughs> Sounds so wrong. Um, but what I get from that is um, when you think about somebody loosening you up, they get you to laugh. They get you to have fun. They get you to feel more free. Sometimes when we do like love connections, uh, I feel like there are times where we just, really, we, we are so uptight, you know, we think, we think about stuff in our head, women are the worst for that, and then you might go have like this flirty opportunity, go on a date, or have like a romantic fling, or whatever the hell you have going on, and then all of a sudden you're like, ugh, like all my problems kind of just disappeared, because you just feel better. You just loosen up. It's like, I don't give a shit about anything anymore. And so I think we, ne we need that. That's the, the important of, that's the importance of love relationships, right? So I do feel like that's, that's important um, to acknowledge that we do have other people in our lives that, that do loosen us up. My husband, I find when he comes home from work, I'm just like, oh. I just feel relieved and when he's gone or I'm gone or for any length of time, it's funny, I, I tend to focus more on work and things like that and I'll get really like into work mode and then again when we're back together I'm just like out of kind of like out of work mode. Um, which is a good thing too. I realize, oh I'm so like caught up in this other stuff. So I think when you are with people that are able to uh help you like a stress at that in itself is a really good quality. Will they confess to me about what's really going on, Sarah? No. Those questions are really, really, really hard for me to connect to because they're just like, it's just, a, it's not a great question, <laughs> but that's okay. I felt that for a while with him. Thank you. You're welcome, Bailey. So I'd love to have you come in for a reading as well. It doesn't have to be one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask a question reading as well if you want to. But I'm loving, like, meeting new people. It's very fun for me. And you get a lot of healings and clearings in my readings as well. 
is I do Theta Healing. I do Akashic Records readings, which offer healing in them as well. Is Richard the One Isabel? I'm getting he's kind of the one. Okay. And so what that means, kind of the one, is you are, it feels like you are questioning if he's long term. And that's actually what's creating your block. Because this could, person could be your forever, but you're going into like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, whatever it is. And that's actually what's creating the obstacle. So a lot of times, again, women are really bad for getting in their head. Men do it too. But again, we'll, yeah, we'll get into like questioning mode. It can be very unhealthy. And that's why readings are so, so important. Because today, one of my people said, you know, I shouldn't need this like reassurance or I shouldn't need this clarification. And that was kind of what her reading was about is like she she was just like one of those people who would put pressure on herself. And part of her spiritual path is like letting go of old trauma and things from the past. Well, you're coming to me to help, for me to help you clear out like clear these things out and help you vibrate the things that you want. So why would you be hard on yourself when your spiritual path is literally doing that, right? But that's where her energy started. We completely cleared that out. But again, don't be hard on yourselves if you need clarity. This isn't just like a one question opportunity, guys. At all. This is about you moving forward in ways that are going to be helpful for you. So like if I actually were doing a deeper reading, you would see that it's that it's so much more than that. So if you want to subscribe, we can go and do a deeper reading for you if you would like. Is my mental health going down right now? I'm getting a little down. You're welcome. Uh, Sarah, it's a going, the name Sarah was coming up for me all day. It's going a little down. Okay. And so the reason why this is coming up is because Forgiveness work is literally coming up for everyone in my VIP membership group. We have a forgiveness workshop and a forgiveness program you can watch, which is nice. Um, we have a lot of like meditations and theta healing downloads around that. But again, it's just like a theme for everybody. I think we're hanging on to a lot of stuff related to whatever it is, our own childhood, people from our past, family, uh, the world. God, whatever it is, what are you hanging on to, right? Something to kind of go deeper into. Will I be with someone from my past? No. Hello, Kayla. Welcome in. Are you, how come you're not, are you, aren't you a subs subscriber, Kayla? Is something weird happening to me? Spirit works in weird ways. Feel free to put a little heart beside your name, Kayla, and... You're welcome. Nicole, will Rob give me a diamond soon? Getting no to the word soon. I am. I have two accounts on wrong one. LOL. Okay. All right. So if you hop on that other account, then I'll read you just because of sketchiness that happens on here. <laughs> yeah. When we ask questions, like, you know, Nicole, if you were coming in as a subscriber, I, I would do a deeper reading for you. Because the first time you come in as a subscriber, you get a deeper reading just to guarantee you that one reading. Even though you get readings and healings every time I come on live. But I just want to make sure you get that. Um, but yeah, I would do more of like a going deeper into the energy of this. Because when you say soon, like it doesn't give me a lot. It's just like soon is like, am I going to, is this going to happen like right now? And so even when people are saying, like, is this going to happen soon? I get this, like, feeling of, like, urgency, like, lack of trust, people who are in panic mode. As we were just talking about getting healings and readings, how important it is for you. But it's also important to understand, like, the energetics of it, if that makes sense. Does anyone else have another question? Is Mr. Wright coming, Kathy? There you are. Um, I feel like you need somebody really funny, and so that's what's taking so long. Because it's hard to find really funny people. A sense of humor must be 
must be important for you. So yes, no, it's not coming in as immediate because I think you need someone who's really freaking funny. <laughs> Some readers won't read without a photo. Really? I don't know. You're, pay you're paying and it says come. That's all I care about. But maybe somebody needs a picture, right? Maybe that's how they read energy. I could, I could do a distant healing reading for you again without you even being there. I feel into everybody's energy before I even come on here. So, Kayla, Kayla, I forget your name. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to all my people who celebrate Thanksgiving. I think that's it. Okay. So, is there an area of focus that you would like? Kristen, thank you. And I'm starting to do more readings for the same people on here, which is fabulous with my subscribers. So I'm slowly starting to kind of like get a grasp on the like what you have going on. But it shifts from day to day. Personal development. Okay. So that's very vague, but we're going to go with it. Okay. So when I go and I scan your energy, Kristen, right away, I get into like brain. The brain, 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 brain. It's like there's so much going on in the brain. And so, again, you're working on personal development. So, obviously, that's important for you that you're working on, like, skills and work and career and things like that. But I'm feeling like there's too much pressure on the brain. And the big thing is we never really – okay, it's good to store information in our brain. It's good to learn. The brain needs a break, but the heart – like, the heart needs more love, you know? The intuition needs to be fed. So, you know, maybe give your logical brain a break. So stop writing, stop reading, um, and just more intuitive exercises and more things that feed your heart and therefore your soul. And so I often won't say, like, give your brain a break because it's so good to learn wherever we're never ending learning, but where you're working on personal development, I feel like it should be on the heart and that intuition more uh, because it feels like that's a little bit out of balance. So, you know, too much of the logical, not enough on that, on that heart space. And so what lights you up and, you know, what can you do that's intuitive that, that is fun. So for instance, I need to pray. I realized today. Okay. So prayers are something that we're doing 24 seven. Like I have my, um, my canvas here and I have like my paintbrushes and I'm like getting prepared to do some creative stuff. I've got my like beautiful amethyst here and some like sketching pencils and things like that. So I can, um, I want to do like a December reading for people. So, like, when I go to, to read some energy for December, I'm coming from my, my painting a bit more and just starting to kind of look into future that way, especially when I'm, again, doing some of my, like, personal readings with people. Hi, Kim. You were on my mind just a little bit ago, so welcome in. Um, so, yeah, so I'm like, oh, for me, that's something that feeds my heart, that's something that feeds my soul, and it's something that's intuitive, and so it still helps me with personal development because it still applies to work and that sort of thing. So I'm setting the intention, like, this is for me and also for my work, whereas it does give my brain a, a break. I'm not looking and drawing from a picture. It's not going to be, like, the best painting you've ever seen, but it's going to be peaceful for me and productive. So, and I don't like to say it's not going to be amazing, but I'm choosing to not strive for perfection. I'm looking to feel free spirited in this project for, for me and it'll still benefit other people. So sometimes we need to do things for us instead of for the money and all that stuff. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's more the vibe that I'm getting for you. Is that why I had this sudden urge to come on TikTok? I would say probably, Kim. So I did email you back. Let me know if you got that. I need to sculpt a little. Yes, you totally do. So that's kind of what's coming through for you. Thank you very much. And even saying, like, I need to pray, like, that sounds like a job. You know, if you really, um, like, believe in prayer, it's just something that, like, pray right now. It's not a job or a task. It's just something you do, like, in your mind right now. Right? It's easy. It's like 
done. So I can pray right now for, I just prayed for like abundance and forgiveness work. That's just what I just said in my head there. Done. Prayer's over. So again, we don't need to make it such a big deal. All right, Kim. Okay, I'm so glad. So yes, for anyone else that's interested in doing some Reiki uh, training, I do Reiki healing in my sessions as well. Um, but anyone that wants to learn how to do Reiki healing and get certified, that's something I'm now opening up to. So just reach out to me if you are interested in that and we will set up a time and a class for you. Okay, that's something I taught for 10 years. I backed away just because the ceremony takes a lot of energy. But now that I've kind of been managing my energy a lot better, I'm like, bring it on. I'm pretty much open to 90% of things these days without saying no. So, uh, Kim, what would you like to focus on here? And thank you so much for being a subs subscriber. And yeah, I was literally being told that there were people that needed readings tonight, and that's why I came on. I dropped everything I was doing. I was just doing some stuff with products and laundry. So feel free to let me know what's what's coming up for you. And we're not pulling up cards. We're just kind of connecting to the energy tonight. Okay. So we'll just do like a little energy scan right away. I'm kind of getting like right here. So to me, this is like your temple, you know, when you need laser focus. And so I kind of feel like there are times where you're getting like a little bit caught up in the emotions, which is interesting because you're drawn to Reiki because literally you balance emotional and the spiritual. Um, yes, it's tense. So it's like, it's good to be focused. Um, and I'm kind of getting like gratitude can really help you balance the emotions a bit better um and I know it's just like a word that gets thrown around but are you doing gratitude exercises in my membership group um in the VIP we've got lots of gratitude stuff that comes through in, in the programs and practices and are you working on abundance as well gratitude or abundance by chance because these are the things that I feel like are important for you to kind of feed yourself with. Hi, Luli. I haven't been doing exercises just with the meditation and I'm thankful daily. Okay. But you're not doing like, um, like writing down your, what you're grateful for, like a gratitude journal or, uh, like, Sometimes with abundance, we do, like, pay it forward. So, like, we literally have a gratitude journal. I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for, or or we'll, like, just throughout our day go into that. I need a gratitude journal. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so maybe just, like, pick, up, pick one up and just start your day with that and end your day with that. And it can be really helpful. Feel free to share, guys. What are you grateful for? I need to push myself so to write daily. Yeah. And so it's kind of like going back into that prayer thing. It's like, or you could just do it right now. You know what I mean? I'm kind of seeing that as a theme for everybody. Thank you very much. So just, do you want to share like what you're grateful for? Because a lot of times what we choose to pick has significance and symbolism in that in itself. So again, the heaviness of like, I need to write, I need to do gratitude. And although, yes, I'm suggesting like working on gratitude and, and abundance of like pay it forward and putting out good energy, it's just like, well, just do it right now. Just say in your head, like if you don't want to say it out loud, but if you say it out loud, that's, it's powerful to say out loud and, and write down. But when you're sharing it, that is a form of saying it out loud. So, like, right now, I can just be like, I'm grateful for my paints, I'm grateful for my canvas, I'm grateful for my my skills, my abilities, my readings, my clients, my uh, people here. So the fact that I chose my art stuff, and I chose my readings, and I chose my clients, obviously tells me that right now I, I'm in an energy of bringing more of my art into my space, more of my creativity, more of my readings and more connection probably to TikTok. So those are like three things that are coming up for me based on my choice of what I chose to focus my gratitude towards. So it's not just about raising your vibration. It's also noticing like, oh, I noticed that I put my mother in my gratitude. I noticed that I put my uh, 
I don't know, my photography in, in it or my photos. And you'll see, am I being grateful for things that have come up in the past? Am I grateful for like people that I've been arguing with lately? Because it can, that can help too, where forgiveness is such a theme right now. Does that make sense? I do see them almost daily. Okay. So what do you, but maybe writing it down will be better. Yeah. When you're by yourself, for sure. And then you can reflect as well, again, on what you're what you're focused on because what you're what you vibrate you're grateful for is often again what you're focusing on right and so you'll draw more of that to you but you're choosing that for a reason if that makes sense so if it's your personal relationships or your work and stuff like that okay so just notice over the week or so doing getting that gratitude journal and just what you choose to notice you're grateful for okay and so are those material things? Is it your house? That sort of thing. Okay, I'm glad. So, Luli, feel free to hop in. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I'm thankful for my friend suggesting to make gingerbread. Tippy kids. I love that. And that's also funny that you're picking up on that because that was recently something that my um, mother-in-law was bringing up and she's sick and she's like can't get out of it, her chair anymore. I made her, I made one last year. Larry was saying, see, that's awesome. So see how you're connecting based on what you're grateful for. Um, yeah, so and my yeah, my mother-in-law was saying, like, we should get a gingerbread kit and do, like, a gingerbread house. And honestly, that would be something she would, like, be able to focus on and, and also be grateful for. So now I'm like, yes, you know what? Tomorrow I should go out because it's open. Things are open here. And I should go out and I should get a gingerbread kit because she mentioned that. And that would probably brighten up her day talking about putting it forward that would be putting good energy out there and putting it forward in terms of like abundance and yeah it's just something she'd really appreciate so what you don't realize is by you sharing you're helping other people and you're inspiring makes sense so we're not meant to keep that in if you just say things in your head it's just not the same and it's also important to celebrate your wins and celebrate your fails. So if you want, anybody wants to go to my spiritual support team underneath Facebook, feel free to share what you're grateful for, like post things in there, anything like that. Because again, it's a sharing experience. And then what that'll do is inspire other people because that's what I created the group for. Good. That's awesome. It's picking up like crazy. I'm grateful for this opportunity. Yes. So wonderful. It's it's amazing. It's just such a such an important practice to do. We use words sometimes and say, Oh, you should meditate or just stuff like that. But it's important to again just do just do the things, right? If we say we should meditate, we could all close our eyes right now and just see what comes through. And I was I was hearing I'm happy you don't have the blues anymore. I'm happy you don't have the blues anymore. And so I don't, again, what I'm getting through that even I get a message when I meditate, that's how fast it happens and it comes with practice. But you guys can probably get messages that fast as well in a quick little meditation um, and develop that audient ability if you're able to shut the mind off that quickly and relax your body. Um, so again, practice, practice, practice. But um, I feel like there's someone in here that was sad and also might get winter blues, as we were also talking about earlier. So that is probably related to Luli as we transition into her. I'm grateful for everything. Yeah, and get a little more specific. Specifically, if you say everything, is it your connection to everything? I love that you guys are connecting to each other. I'm not sure what subscription level you're at either. <laughs> I feel blessed. I love that. So I love that Hillary is really connecting to that. Yes. Okay. So any any other question? Any other focus, Lily? Because so, one I one thing I I feel with you. 
Okay, I'm feeling like you also weren't just sad recently because, again, you're not feeling that way anymore. And it was just an energy that was coming up. Cause it also feels like you've let go of some anger, too. So I'm seeing you letting go of, go of sadness and anger. So that's so, so amazing. So I think Spirit just wants you to recognize that we can bounce out of sadness and you can bounce out of anger. And so that's something you don't have to judge yourself for anymore. Um, so again, anybody that, that relates to that as well, Luli and Kim also share a lot of that inspiring energy and it sounds like Hil Hillary as well, but yeah, it just feels like it's okay if you're going through a, having a bad day, if you feel like you're having a bad life, if you're going through a stage, um, you know, this too shall pass. We go, th we go through celebratory stages too, where we have to make sure that we're celebrating because we know that. It's not going to last forever, and I don't like to have that mindset sometimes, but the reality is, is like we are always going through cycles, right? If we're going through full moon or we're going through new moon, we can't expect for a full moon to last. We can't expect for a new moon to last, um, but, it, but over time, we prepare and we manage things, and then it gets better. So it's like next full moon, look out, like... I am going to be so prepared for that. Next new one, I'm going to be so prepared for that. And so it's just kind of how it how it works. That comes with practice. So I think everybody's seen here. It's just practice, 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 and do the damn thing now instead of feeling this heaviness is something you have to do. It's like, or you could just do it right now because it's really not hard. It's super simple. Um, but again, we've got to train ourselves to make it easier than it than it. Uh, Make it easier than it needs to be. Again, we're making things harder than it has to be by creating this big thing out of, like, nothing. You know what I mean? Yesterday I had so much anxiety, but I, but I decided to think positive and be thankful. So good for you, Luli. So I'm seeing such a shift in you. I'm loving this. You're, like, one of the first people that came into, I feel like, my TikTok, I don't know, whatever this is, community, I guess. And I'm seeing so much progress in you. So sending you so much love. Everybody send her some hearts. Send her some love. So I think we actually covered all of our subscribers. I'm really, really happy about that. I just randomly came on here tonight. Hello, Heather. Welcome in. If you want a quick message, I'm literally just on my way out. But if you do have a question, let me know. We will cover you. I'm fading out here quickly. I just hopped on to say... Hello, because I felt like some people needed messages. So one of the things that's coming up with you, Heather, is I'm actually going to invite you to put your palms up. Okay, I'm going to do a little energy healing on you if you're open to it. Anybody that wants this. So placing your palms up, okay? So we're switching it up for Heather. I'm just receiving this energy as we clear out of, clear out of things tonight. know why it just feels like we this is like gentle right now done a lot of talking I'm gonna put this replay up underneath YouTube as well so if you missed it you're just hopping on you can get some collective messages and some themes and that's what you'll find with all of my readings is somehow we're all in the exact same boat all at the same time we've got different things happening it all kind of forms the same concept. So forgiveness, practice, making things happen in the now. So Heather, were you able to get anything completed tonight with your time? I was also tuning into the energy and I was able to accomplish a lot myself. There, that feels a lot better. Sending lots of love to everybody's hearts. And I'm going to light my sage here. Good evening. If you have a quick question, guys, feel free to ask. So, Heather, do you have a quick question? Good. I'm so glad it was helpful for you. 
Hello, welcome in guys. Lots of Canadians tonight. So yeah, the message here for for you, um, Heather, is like to focus more on connections with work, um, like networking. That's what's coming through for you. Okay, so don't be afraid to like get out more in the public and reach out to more people and that sort of thing. Like put yourself out there just a tiny bit more. Now that you're feeling better about time, you might feel like, oh, I've got this extra time to go attend this or talk to this person, that sort of thing. So it's like allowing yourself to get out there. Should I register for school for January? Okay, thank you so much. So Kim, um, I think we already did you. I feel like we already did. We were talking about the gratitude. So, um, yeah, so I think we're, I think we're all good. I was just gonna, is my future bright? Absolutely it is, Hillary. Whew, that's really smudging. I think that people were coming in with some heavy stuff. Is there still hope for my relationship? Um, I think that there might be, might be something that's like permanently happened in that relationship, un unfortunately, Sarah. So I think there might be something maybe that's already lost or something in that I'd also love a message ESP work related as, as I wait for a few emails um butterfly lady um I'm getting like you're pretty intuitive um so I'm kind of getting just like focus on the tasks at hand that's what I'm I'm being told so like whatever you have um going on right now like focus on I don't know where it is that you're going to it's like it feels like your path right now is a little blurry or a little foggy even though you're super intuitive so you could definitely benefit from a reading uh, you guys can book through horsemanreadings.com if you click my profile up in the corner and then you click on my picture you'll see my profile and then underneath you'll see my link tree and then you will see a booking link it sounds like a lot of work it's really not and then again, underneath there, you will see my 15 minute Zoom sale. As well, if you have any questions, you can also see purchase a reading and products. When you go there, you can book for only $10 Canadian a three question reading. That's something that again is temporary. So if you feel like that's something you wanna do, absolutely do it. My 15 minute readings expire on November 30th. Otherwise, you um, have to pay for a package for me, and I just think these are great little one-off sessions for people. Typically, I like to work with people more long-term, which is why I'm encouraging the packages. That way, we can see more benefits. However, it's just nice to work with people. It's, it's great to create these opportunities, and don't stress if you can't do that right now. We'll create more, and again, thank you so much for all my subscribers and the people that support me here. All right, guys, so we'll be back on um, I'll be on tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I have a feeling I'll be able to get on a little earlier tomorrow, and it sounds like it's a holiday for many people as well. So, yeah, we'll take advantage of that. Thank you so much, Amanda. I really, really appreciate it. Oopsies. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just going to see if you ask me a question. Is it normal to feel like I've been lied to my, your whole life during a spiritual journey? Okay. I'm just going to delete this person who's being rude. It's so funny that there are negative people on here that take the time to be me. So... I kind of feel like there's no coincidence ever, Amanda. So when you're asking me, is it normal to feel like you've been lied to your whole life and then there's someone who's like coming on being rude? I feel like a lot of it is who we attract into our life, right? So Amanda, one of the things that I get with you is it feels like sometimes, I don't know, do you have avoidance tendencies? Do you know what that means, Amanda? Like, do you avoid conflict? Are you a conflict avoider? Let me know. No, I meant like the world isn't what it really is. Okay. So can you go deeper into like the world isn't really what it is? Yes, I'm very quiet. Okay. Because that's actually what it, for some reason, that's what I'm 
Do you, oh, maybe, do you mean, okay, I think you're talking about more like societal beliefs. I think that's kind of what you mean. Feel free to explain it a bit more. Um, yeah, I kind of, I think that's part of like, gr like growing, you know what I mean? And you form your own beliefs and you realize you have distorted beliefs and that the world has distorted beliefs and that, you know, we need to think for ourselves and it's important to be around the right people. But I'm getting for some reason, hello, Tanya. I think for some reason what's coming through here is this avoidance tendency that you might have. Um, it's important to be, I feel like you're full, 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 authentic loyal self and if you do that I think you'll find that you're going to attract more like-minded people and then you're going to feel more positive about things. Make sense? So it's just part of the growing experience. So you're not wrong. It is normal but it's more around your who you're spending your time with and and that sort of thing. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right so yes get around good peeps. Thank you so much for being here. You'd, be, you'd make a wonderful subscriber. Um, we'd love to have you in more often. And I'll be doing some paid readings on here as well, guys. So um, I just, I'm doing more free just so people can get opportunities. But it's also nice to get some paid readings so we can give you a little bit more time. So thank you very much, Amanda. I really, really appreciate it. You're so sweet. It makes up for those other people, you know? So I think sometimes negative negative people for some reason seem to get more okay thank you I think sometimes negative people and negative energy gets more um because negative energy kind of sucks the life out of us um negative energy tends to be louder that sort of thing um, and like you were saying, if you're quiet, you're probably more on the positive side. You don't want to disrupt that sort of thing. But again, they don't tend to get as much attention. And so I think it's important that when we are that personality, that we definitely are particular and more selective with, again, how we spend our time and energy. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know. I could go much deeper, but yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for all your support. I am absolutely going to take off, and I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving. So, so exciting. And uh, eat lots of whatever the heck you like to eat. Spend time with whoever the heck you like to spend time with. If you're by yourself, enjoy being alone. And um, I'll be back on tomorrow, so you are not alone. There's lots of support, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.